Hi, Flosstube friends. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Today is April 26th, and this is Flosstube number 10. My name is Daylene, and I'm so grateful that you stopped by. Seriously, it's I, I'm really happy. Otherwise, I'd be that weird neighbor lady just chatting away in her sewing room and nobody listening to me. Uh, I have coffee, I have tea, I'm ready to go, and I have a snack. Look at this. We have a snack. This is called Paxamatia, and um, that is uh, similar to our, uh, similar to what we know as biscotti, uh, a Greek biscotti. Uh, my friend Joanne, she is Greek Orthodox, so today is her Good Friday. Uh, they celebrate Easter this, this Sunday. And I was thinking that if she lived near me, we would have coffee and some paxamatia today. Um, that would be that would be really fun. Um, she lives in she lives in near Pen uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and so we just chat back and forth. We met we met through blogging. Um, hey, if you if you if you need a wedding planner. She's your girl. Um, she has a website, and I'll I'll link it below so you can you can uh, go and uh, see what she has to say. Uh, she's like that uh, fairy godmother behind the scenes magic, and she makes weddings turn out beautiful and smooth, and not a problem in sight. No stress, no worries. She's your girl. She uh, she owns a company called Catherine's Daughter Events. And um, anyway, happy Easter, Joanne. And all your family and um, so I'm gonna have a piece of paxamatia uh, in your honor so anyway um, but I don't worry I made plenty so there's a lot for all of us to share so it's not just me um, okay let's let's talk about that quilt behind me first of all that quilt is called uh, the winning hand and each of those each of those blocks is called card tricks um, it is my son Gabriel's quilt. He, I made it in 1995. He was 10 years old and uh, he was, um, we, we call him the nutty professor. He's a smart, very intelligent, gifted, gifted um, human being. And when he was 10, uh, you know, younger, he was painfully shy. So we tried to come up with different things that he could do that would help him uh, not necessarily get over the shyness, but not be so not be so painful for him and awkward and and give him some tools to help him kind of navigate through through that time. So we bought him some magic books and we taught him some uh, card tricks and he chose he chose this pattern. He chose the colors. He chose the pattern when he saw the block called card tricks. He said, "Mom, could you make that for me?" And he never asked me to make him anything, so I said, "Of course." I will of course I will um, that's the first thing I ever machine quilted so it is uh, machine pieced machine quilted he used it on his bed forever and ever and uh, um, anyway it's it's an easy one to do ever you know it's it's beginner easy 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 so you can, you definitely can do it but um, yeah we I was his uh, I was his helper <laughs> he uh, asked me to sew a magic bag that he would draw things out of and, and he said Mom, you, could you sew this, please? But don't look at how it's done. <laughs> okay, I won't know how the magic is done. And uh, I can remember driving him to a magic store where they sold all these tricks and things. And the owner said, oh, I'm sorry, you can't come in. You're not a magician. And I said, I'm a mom and I have the checkbook. And so I'll stand over here by the door while, and I won't reveal any of your secrets. And yes, he's eight years old. He can shop in this store he's not going to be by himself <laughs> so anyway but it helped he was able to do uh tricks for his friends and he did little shows for his cousins and all of us and so it kind of brought him out of his shell a little bit and gave him something to talk about and um it, it was good it was fun it, it, it was a good thing okay let's talk about some a previous finish so i actually even have the pattern so i know that it was by lottie daw and it is called By Her Hand. It is a um, sampler, a small, a small, very, very small piece sampler. And I uh, came across this when I was looking through my box of finished pieces. I did not have it framed, so it's just in that box. Here's the piece. Back in 2007, we were told or learned to wash our pieces. 
my, my hands weren't dirty, my piece wasn't dirty, but for some reason we all washed them and let them dry and I forgot to put a towel down on top of the cookie rack that I dried this on and you can see that it is totally ruined. And every time I go buy this piece, I love the piece, but I, it makes me so mad and so frustrated and, and I don't know what happened, but I just decided I'm done. I'm done feeling bad. I'm throwing it away. And I started over. I love the, I love the pattern so much and it's very small. And I just keep, every time I flip through that box, I keep seeing it and feeling bad and feeling it. Enough. I'm getting rid of it. We're throwing it away. We're starting over. We're going to have a new, a new piece that's going to be finished. So that'll, that'll be good. That'll make me happy. I won't, I won't be grumpy every time I see it. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of subscribers that, that leave comments. They're so nice to me. I, I just feel, I feel so grateful that, that, um, I don't know, even on those days when you're feeling a little bit down or a little bit grumpy and you see their name and you go, oh, they might have something nice to say. And they always do. So the first lady's name is Darlene Bumgartner. And she has two grandchildren. And one was Laura Joy was just born on March 29th. So it's a new one. Um, she's got a good sense of humor. She's kind. She leaves considerate, generous comments. She was a military wife for 29 years. So... We have that military wife thing in common that um, it just that's a good that's a good thing. She she's she's a good girl. So every time I see her name, I, I appreciate I appreciate the words that are that are gonna come. I, I just know she's gonna leave something nice. So uh, Kim Eisman, she's a golden retriever lover, and she's really kind. She leaves uh, really considerate comments, really really upbeat and uplifting, and she's very patient with me because I. I'm not very good with Instagram, and so she's just really patient with me answering and trying to figure it out. I'm getting a new phone. I don't want to, but I have to. And so, anyway, uh, Kim has always uh, left such kind, uh, kind words. So I, I really appreciate that. And Kathy Lloyd, she's uh, so considerate. She's generous. She has a beautiful smile. She, she just leaves such nice smiley happy words and every single time I I'm just so so happy to uh, see their names pop up so thanks ladies I really appreciate it so speaking of all the people that leave comments I thought I would do a giveaway and um, no for no reason just because I'm just so happy that I'm making so many new friends but this time I'm gonna give away two okay so here's my basket that I keep with me uh, this is some of the fabric that I that I use. I I grow lavender in my garden, so I dry it. Uh, around about July is when I um, I harvest it in these uh, as much as I can hold a bundle that I can hold, and I wrap a rubber band, you know, do the rubber band around it, and then I hang them upside down to let them dry, and then I uh, knock off all of the little flowers, and it smells really strong. Even through this heavy duty food grade plastic bag, you can still smell it. It's it, Oh, it's crazy. It smells wonderful. So then I use, okay, this is what I make. I make these sachets. So I, um, okay, first of all, here's the fabric for the back. I've got some uh, lavender color fabric with lavender and some bee skeps and there's watering cans and bird feeders. And, um, and then I make these little sachets out of scraps of the fabric that I have left over when I'm stitching. So you know those odd shaped pieces, those little leftover tiny little pieces? Well, I made this pattern, just scrap cardboard, and I just wrote some notes to myself. I, obviously, I cut the ribbon that it hangs from eight inches long. I wrote down the DMC threads that I used, and so um, I just stitched this, cross-stitched this little uh, pattern of some lavender, and then I cut out the piece of... Uh, the, the fabric that I stitched it on, cut out the piece for the back, and I just sew around it a quarter of an inch, and then at the bottom, oh, uh, then I add a, a half a cup of dried lavender, and then I just stitch it shut, and I did some beading this last week, oh, you can tell, I like beading, you can see my bracelet, oh, there you go, um, okay, so I, I, I'll try to get closer here, 
I did some beading on it, so I made some little uh, little adornments at the top, and I put a little um, tassel on the back. So you can hang this up in your closet, or you could you can put it in your undies drawer, so it smells lovely. Ew, I have a I have an underwear story. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> I don't. I, probably okay okay if you don't want to just fast forward a little bit I'll just I'll talk real quick okay when my husband was in the military in uh, Oklahoma he won uh, a big fancy award and uh, we got invited to go meet the governor in Oklahoma City so we all got dressed up and he was all in his uniform all fancy and I was in fancy church dress and uh, three or four other military wives you know the, the commanders and different people went and uh, we were driven up there to meet the governor, and it was all very exciting, and uh, it, was, it was lovely. And then we went to um, the Oklahoma City racetrack, uh, a horse racing track. And it was this huge place, and thousands and thousands of people were in the stands. And we got to have lunch there. We went upstairs to this uh, a private booth and uh, a lovely area. And they had um, oh they they had this big case that had all these different sets of china, different colors. And that was whoever was the winning horse that year. Um, their silk colors that the jockeys wore. That was the color of china that that family had, and it was displayed there and used in the dining room there. So it was it was all very fancy and very nice. And uh, anyway, my husband was uh, going to present this huge crystal, really lead crystal heavy, beautiful, beautiful platter. Um, the mental, re uh, mental retarded citizens, they work there and they, they make these. They're gorgeous. There's, there was a couple of big vases. There was a big bowl. Anyway, okay, so um, so they gave us a list. I'd never been to a horse race before, and they gave us this list of all the names of the horses, and we were supposed to bet and pick who would win. Well, we, we, our our family does not bet. We that's not part of our religion, so we did not do that. But um, anyway, I I I picked one of the horses that I thought might win because it had the name Jennifer in it. Hi, Jennifer. My niece's name is Jennifer, so that's why I picked that name did not win so good thing I didn't bet any money on it um, anyway okay so the horse race was about to begin and and there was a several of them and so then we got to watch one and and then we were escorted down um, down to the the gates where you were and then uh, my husband was given that big um, piece of crystal it was the, a winning award and so uh, the men carried their pieces and then we walked walked beside them and they they opened the gates and they put down these um, I, I don't know like really thick carpets so we could walk across it where all the horses had had trampled across and then we went out to the winner circle Okay, so we're out there, and it's Oklahoma. It is windy, and the wind is blowing, and the other three ladies have their hands down to their sides, really tight, and trying to hold their dresses down and ladylike, because, well, we're not like Queen Elizabeth or Margaret Thatcher. We don't have fishing weights sewn into the hems of our dresses. So, um, anyway, everybody was all worried. Their dresses were flying up, and and the horse came over and uh, with the jockey on it from the race, and it was like the horse, it was huge and it was sweating and slobber was going everywhere and it was just snorting and and it was pawing at the ground and really really breathing heavy from running this huge race you know I, I don't know a mile or whatever it was and I was just like oh my goodness I've never seen a horse this big before and the jockey was on top and he had his gear with him and he stepped onto this big huge rectangle and it was the weight of the horse the jockey, the the gear that he had, and they flashed that um, the the weight up onto the screen. I, I guess it was a certain thing. You could only weigh a certain amount before the race, and then after the race, and before they could announce the winner, they had to do that. Okay, so all the ladies still have their hands down. They're holding their skirts. Not me. My skirt was flying like crazy. I didn't care. I have really gorgeous underwear. I have gorgeous, beautiful lingerie. Okay, you're worth it. Buy beautiful lingerie. Okay, that's a side note. Anyway, I don't care who sees my undies. I have gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lace, beautiful, gorgeous silk. Well, okay, I don't care. Every single picture of my husband presenting this big piece of crystal and all these military men standing, everyone smiling, trying to shake hands, looking at the jockey. All you can see is the top of my head. 
That's all you can see. I'm not smiling. My dress is going crazy. All the other ladies are neat and tidy and their hands are down. Not me. My dress is flying. And all you can see is the top of my head. Because I did not want my feet to cross that line. Because I didn't want to step on it and I didn't want my weight put on that huge screen so everybody up there could see how much I weighed. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I told you that. I don't, and here's the thing, I don't know how to edit a video, so I don't know how to cut that out either, so. All right, now it's at 15 minutes, so just fast forward to 15 minutes and you won't have to hear my undies story. So. Anyway, I'm going to give away two of these sachets. I want to, and I made some thread drops. So each one I'll put a thread drop with, and I, I put a piece of this lavender colored um, thread. I thought that would be kind of fun. And I'll wrap it real nice. So I have two. I'm going to pick two different names. Or, you know, that random generator. We'll do that again. Okay, so, okay, so let's see. When you write your comment, just write a comment, but ask me a question. And then maybe I could answer some of those questions in the next video or something on that, um, you know, housekeeping section or whatever. So leave a comment, ask me a question, and I promise I'll try to answer it. It can be anything, anything you want. My favorite food. Um, I don't know. I, you, you, that's your job. You come up with that. I stitched these for fun. When sometimes when my projects are so big and I just want a quick little finish, then I, then I just use a little scrap of fabric that I have and I make four or five at a time. And then I can, you know, tie them on a birthday package or um, put an initial on them and, and, you know, use that as the little tag on the gift or something. But anyway, they smell really good. Oh, it smells heavenly. So anyway, you can hang them on your, uh, your closet, your, your uh, hangers, or tuck them in your undies drawer. There you go. So that'll be a fun giveaway. That'll be, that'll be two things we can give away. That'll be neat. That'll be happy. I'll wrap them really nice. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see. I have a finish. I'm so happy. My big girl sweet pea blanket is all finished. It has five rows around the edge. Okay, this is from, um, the lady's name is Lucy, and she runs the um, Attic 24, and this is called the Sweet Pea Blanket. So, I totally got it finished. I'm happy. Mr. Wright's already taken a nap under it. He said it works, so, yay! That's a good thing. That's a really good thing, so, thanks. Okay, do you want to see it? I feel like it should be a drum roll. Okay, here she comes. The Georgina Thompson 1895 sampler. She's a beauty. She's a beaut. She's beautiful. Okay, let's talk about it a little bit. This is a 28 count white chocolate fabric. Oh, and before I forget, whenever I start, I put a little piece of thread at the top of my fabric. So, you know, those first, the first day or so when you do, I, I start in the center that first day or so when you're just doing a couple stitches and then you come back to it and you're, you're kind of disoriented and you don't want to stitch it sideways on accident. So anyway, I just put a little, uh, just sew a little bit of thread at the top so I know where the top is. Okay, so let's see. What do I have to say about this? Okay, good news. Her name is not going to fall out. I stitched it three times, so it's in there good and tight. Oh, good gravy. Okay, so on the basket of flowers here, these are the initials of her six children. And these are the two initials of the children that didn't uh, live. Um, this is Alexander. He lived uh, to be about three years old. And this was George. And he was born and died uh, that same day, sadly. Um, in here where the uh, lowercase alphabet goes, I stitched 13 initials of her grandchildren there's my husband's initial he's one of her grandchildren so I put all of their initials on there uh, this uh, line here it says 8 Ord Street Aberdeen and that's the city in Scotland where she grew up uh, I added her husband's name uh, it said uh, married James Smith Wilson 1914 and actually on this one, I put my initial, my name, my name and the date. So, you notice I haven't said it's finished? It's not finished. Okay, so we all know that time of day 
you know what I'm talking about. Mm, it's about 1.20 in the morning and you're all alone and it's real quiet. You've turned off the music. You've turned off. You think you're getting really close. And, you know, I love telling my golden retriever that I'm finished, but she doesn't really give me that much uh, kudos. <laughs> She's happy for me, really, really. Sweet Liberty, gorgeous dog, super happy for me. However, I was thinking, since all of you have given me so much encouragement and inspiration and asking me about it and making sure I was on task and asking how it was going, I thought maybe I would leave three stitches until the end. So I'm, I'm a, I stitch in hand so I don't need to put it in a hoop or anything. And I just finished the second stitch. And so here you go. I thought maybe we could do it together. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, let me tie it off because, you know, you wouldn't tell anybody you were done if you still had your needle hooked into it. All right. Let me get my scissors here. She's finished. And you're the first to know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yay. Thank you to Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, she re she designed, recharted this design, and um, it was it turned out so nice. My husband's really happy. He's really happy that we that we made something to remember his grandma. And um, I already bought the foam core, so after this video is over, I'm going to lace the piece, and uh, we're going to take it to the framer this weekend. So. Anyway, thanks for being along with the, the journey. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the encouragement. I appreciate you happy with me when the border met up. I, I appreciate that you were okay when I ripped out things. And I will, um, I'll take a, uh, some close-up pictures and put it on my blog so that you can see it a little closer. And it turned out really lovely. Really, really lovely. It was a pleasure to stitch. It, I love the colors. I love the green and the red. Uh, I love that border. Every time I look at it, I see a different part that I really like. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for all your encouragement. It, it really helped. And it was really fun to stitch those last ones with you guys. So you're the first to know. The Golden Retriever's not here. She doesn't know. <laughs> the husband doesn't know. He's not here. So yay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. So let's see, I have a couple of, uh, so I have some mail here that I wanted to go through. Okay, first of all, I got an Easter card from Angie, Bub Mai, so that she's Bub Mai on, on uh, Floss Tube. So thanks, Angie. That was really thoughtful. That was really lovely. I, pre I appreciate that. Made me so happy when I opened it. So colorful. Uh, oh, I got a thank you note from Tamara Hill. She's the lady that won um, the project bag and the charity gift and the um, the pattern. And look, she made this card. It has one of those dandelion wishes on it and all the wishes are coming off. That's, that's pretty neat. She did a good job. So, And then I got a thank you note with a little dog on it, which is hilarious from the Livingston County Dog Shelter. So this is the charity that Tamara Hill chose. And they they all signed it inside and it was really nice that they took the time to do that. But they thanked us for the charity uh, gift and said that they could definitely use it and that it would be used well. And uh, so that was really neat. So that worked out great. So we all got to be a part of that. That makes me really happy. So I wanted to make sure and share that one with you. Um, okay, and I got this special gift. Okay, first of all, the card. It was a, a drawing by a little child, and they made it into a card. I got this gift from Cynthia, and she sent me this magnet. It says Stitchy Love from Texas. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That was nice of her. She sent me, she said, this hanky is from my Grandma Helen's collection. 
and it's a fancy hanky and look what she did she embroidered my initial and she embroidered the word so grateful that's the first time I ever had anything like that and her stitches are so small and beautiful so tiny and she said she picked this handkerchief out because it reminded her of my Polish pottery wasn't that nice that's so considerate and so thoughtful and really really generous to to give me one of her grandma's handkerchiefs I promise I'll take care of it really I do I promise oh that that is so nice thank you so much Cynthia I, I sent her a thank you note but you know I wanted to show her beautiful stitching she did a really lovely job and that D is so pretty sometimes the cursive capital D is not so fancy and this is fancy and snazzy it's really nice so thank you I really that that is just man I, I'm, I'm still still a little Gilbert clamped over that. that that was really really nice okay so um, new starts I know y'all want to talk about stitch mania I, I, I know you do you want to talk about it okay so this is my stitch mania this is me cheering you on yay go stitch mania okay the idea of starting 19 new starts kind of gives me the willies the idea of starting 31 new starts makes me kind of itchy. You know my brain swirls and swirls and swirls and swirls. But I just, I can't. I can't do it. I can't figure it out. It doesn't make me happy. I, I like watching all of you do it. I'm going to cheer you on. I'm going to write nice comments. I'm going to cheer you on. I have these great pom-poms. I'm not doing Stitch Mania. I can't do it. I don't know. I, a couple people have said, oh, maybe they could have one new start or they could. <sighs> I'm stepping aside this time. I'm going to be the cheerleader on the side of a parade. You know, a parade. You, if Without the people on the sidelines, it's just people wearing crowns walking down the middle of the road with cars in between the cars. That's not a parade. That's not fun. You need the people on the sidewalk cheering you on. That's me. I'm going to cheer you on. So... I wish you all the best for Mania. I hope you have lots of beautiful stitches. I just can't have that many. Otherwise, it'll make me crazy and I don't want to be a crazy girl. I'll get all jittery and nervous and fretful and I want to finish things. So I have a couple of new starts. Nothing to do with Mania, but I am starting them. Uh, so this one is by Brenda Gervais. It's called Needleworker Sampler. So I have the fabric, I have the threads, and I am going to start this sampler on my birthday. So May 6th, I'm going to start this sampler. So that'll be, I'm looking forward to it. I never did a sampler with a house before. Can you believe that? And so I am excited to start this one. That And I haven't touched it. I'm not, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to wait until, um, until my birthday. So that'll be a really good start okay so here is another start that I'm going to do so remember the Georgina Thompson sampler well this is going to be in honor of her brother John okay so he was a soldier in World War one for the Canadian Royal Forces and um, several years ago we got to go to uh, Vimy Ridge in France and that is where he passed away he was killed in action uh, on Vimy Ridge. So this pattern is by Jeanette Douglas and it shows the monument of Vimy Ridge and it has uh, the flag, it has it had some headstones with the word freedom across it and then it has a big saying at the bottom and I'm not going to stitch that. I'm just stitching the top part and then I'm going to put a piece of the family tartan. I'm going to sew that onto the bottom of the fabric and frame it in the same tip, type of frame as the Georgina Thompson one. So we'll hang those two together. So that I am, I'm looking for a light, a light gray color uh, fabric for the background. But once I find that, I'm going to start stitching that one. So uh, we have a big, uh, beautiful coin from King George that was given to the family when, uh, in honor of um, him passing, uh, John Thompson passing away. So uh, once uh, once I get the fabric and I get it started, I promise I'll share all that with you. So 
that that's going to be our, a really nice family piece that that, uh, that we can do i ordered two new patterns from sub rosa designs uh, she's on etsy uh, she's from uh, hungary i believe this one is called love pillow and i thought it would be a really nice little uh valentine stitch for next year i just i fell in love with it i i love the the, the variegated thread is beautiful, so I'm, I'm going to buy that buy that thread. And then the other one that I got, oh, oh, her Etsy shop, you you she's in Hungary, so you pay the money, and then and uh, you don't have to have a PayPal, but you can use PayPal or you can use your credit card, um, and then you just download the pattern right then, uh, you, you know, like a few minutes later or an hour, or I can't remember. But and the other one that I liked is called Primitive Hearts. And it is a sampler motif with uh, two initials and some hearts and vines. And um, I, I love them. I thought they were really, really beautiful. So I wanted to do those. Uh, okay, let me talk about a couple of floss tube girls. Okay, so number one, uh, one of the sites that I thought maybe you'd like to go see, uh, one of the channels, her name is, the channel name is Stitching Lifestyle. And her name is Nerissa and she's from New Zealand and she's so interesting and happy and smiley and she's sweet and kind and um, she's doing a beautiful chatelaine and she has uh, heaven and earth designs the full coverage <laughs> really really beautiful stitcher so she's fun to listen to and I'm learning like lots of new things and I, I think you'll really enjoy your time with her. So uh, jot down her name. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the links below so that you can just click on it and, and go visit them. Uh, the other gal, her name is Linda. Linda, don't look up. <laughs> she is Blue Horse Yellow Cow. She's talented and intelligent. She's smart. She's funny. She's beautiful. She has a beautiful smile. She has a great sense of humor. Okay, so she, in the evening, she relaxes and watches floss tube on her television. So she can't make a comment. So that's why I said don't look up. Just keep stitching and, and she'll, she'll hear her name and hear me talking to her. So um, she does some beautiful stitching. Really, really beautiful. Um, I think one of her videos, that, I think it was number four or I, I don't know. But she's dressed really beautiful and she has this gorgeous piece of jewelry. And she reminded me of a docent at a, a museum that you could go to. She just really open and feels like you could go to her and ask her a question and she wouldn't make you feel silly. She'd just say, oh, yay, I got a question. So I want to tell you all about it. She's just she's just one of those great people that's just uh, somebody I'm happy to have in my sewing circle. I'm, pr I'm pretty lucky. So, Okay, and the last the last um, uh, channel that I thought you might like to see, it, it has nothing to do with floss tube. I, they don't stitch. I don't know. I don't even know why I went there. I, I think I might have heard their name one time. Okay. All right. Their names are the Grocery Girls Knit. They're two girls. They do remarkable knitting. Beautiful, beautiful things. But they are so funny. They're so happy and silly and funny. And, and, and they talk about serious stuff too. But when you're in that stitching mood and you've kind of gone through all your floss tube girls or uh, you just want something a little bit different. I've taken two different knitting classes, six weeks each. The first one I thought, oh, it, it must be the teacher. I don't understand. So I'll take another one. So I found a different teacher, took a different class. It's not the teacher. I think it's the student. I just don't understand knitting. But these girls talk so encouraging and uplifting that I'm just like, oh, I kind of think I want to think I want to learn to knit. Uh, so anyway, if you if you knit, go. You're going to enjoy every minute of it. If you want to be encouraged to knit, go. You're going to love it. They're just, they're really fun. They're happy. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay, what am I grateful for? First of all, I'm grateful for my wisteria. It's blooming. It smells heavenly. I can smell it right now. I picked two pieces. They're, they're really not for um, a vase, but I picked them so that they could be in here. And they smell so good. They're beautiful. They're, the, the flower blossoms are about this long. They're, they're just, oh, so nice. So nice. I'm thankful for garden gloves because I've been out there working and my hands don't look it. My gloves make me... Okay, I, I rub my fingernails across a bar of soap before I put them in my garden gloves. I lather my hands up with lots of lotion or coconut oil. And then I put my hands in my garden gloves. And then, then I go out there and garden. And it's like, 
little hand spa going on. I, I come inside, I wash my hands off, and they're nice and soft and supple. So there's my, my garden glove tip for you. Uh, when, oh, I'm really grateful that I have a husband that's so respectful. Um, it, it, it's, it's really, really nice. We uh, went out to dinner the other night, and um, there was an older gentleman that came in. And he had a navy blue baseball hat that had some lettering on it. And military men just zero in on that. And they, and they know what it means. They know what all those letters mean. And after our meal was over, my husband, of course, went over and uh, told the gentleman, uh, thank you for your service, and shook his hand. Just so happens that gentleman was 92 years old. Uh, he was in World War II. And he had just come back from an honor flight. An honor flight is a thing where uh, Gary Sinise has a, a organization where they earn money and pay for these soldiers to take a flight back to Normandy and see see the area and visit the cemetery and see the beaches again. And it was it it it's a, it's an amazing organization. But anyway, but every single time my husband. Uh, sees someone in a restaurant or at the post office or just uh, walking at the farmer's market, he uh, makes the, uh, an effort to uh, shake their hand and thank them for their service. And, and uh, it brings tears to your eyes. It's, it's, it's a good thing. It, it's a really good thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have two other things that I'm super grateful for. Okay, first of all, I am grateful for this product called Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Okay, this is what they look like. Okay, that's it. It's a little sponge. Add a little water. Squish, squish, squish. Okay, the thing with these are is they have, it's a sponge, but it has ground up really, really, really fine glass in this. So do not use this on your coffee maker to clean off the gunk because it wipes off the letters. Don't ask me how I know that. This, get it wet, scrunch it up a little bit, and wipe the edges of your sneakers and they turn white again. It's great. It's really great. So those sneakers that are looking a little tired or a little bit of grass stain on them, you just do this, wipe it off. doesn't even take any muscle, actually, but it really works. So a couple dollars. That, and they're not paying me to say that. Although I would say it if they paid me. But anyway, it's really, it's really good. Two bucks. Yeah, but be careful. Do not rub it on something you don't want the letters to come off on. Because it really will come off. Okay, the other thing I'm really grateful for. Do you want to see? Okay, here it is. I got new sandals. They're all blingy. And they're making me really happy. And the weather's turning warmer so I can wear new sandals. Yay! Little flip-flops to wear to the farmer's market or out to get the mail. They're pretty snazzy. You could wear them with a really cute skirt and it would look really cute. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm so happy that you stopped by and thank you so much for being a part of um, my last three stitches for my sampler. I'm really happy that it's done. I can't believe it. I'm so happy and I'm really glad I got to share it with you. So thanks for stopping by. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm like really tired now that I finished the sampler. I know three stitches, but I'm really tired. So anyway, I'm going to go have some coffee and some more Paximatia. So uh, happy Greek Easter and uh, happy stitching to the rest of you. So see you next time. We'll chat then. Bye-bye.